everyone welcome to lectures by apanna in today's video we will discuss the terms baseband signals and passband signals these are two terms that are commonly used in communication systems first let us see baseband signal the message signal that is generated from an information source is known as baseband signal they can be both analog signal and digital signal also baseband signal can be a combination of two or more message signals if the baseband signal is transmitted directly then it is known as baseband transmission so baseband transmission will not use any modulators or demodulators if you would like to know in detail about modulation process i have made a video on it its link will be available in the description box just below this video so you can check it out if you are interested baseband transmission is preferred for short distance the audio signal coming from a source has a baseband frequency range of 20 hertz to 20000 hertz if it is transmitted in this range then it is baseband transmission now if the message signal coming from the information source is passed through a modulator and you get a modulated signal then that transmission is called pass band transmission and the modulated signal that you get after the process of modulation is called pass band signal pass band signal an audio signal after modulation will come to higher frequency range which is radio frequency range then it is transmitted so pass band signals will be in a high frequency range base band signals will be in a low frequency range also base band signals are having higher risk of being affected by noise signals than the pass band signals so these are some basic differences between base band signals and pass band signals if this video has helped you please do subscribe to my channel also don't forget to like and share this video thank you